Good morning, teachers and students. Today is Friday, February 5th. Welcome you to Most Holy Trinity Catholic School this morning. We're glad all of you are here with us. Will everyone please stand? Let's join together in prayer. And please join me in the prayer to the Most Holy Trinity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sin. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Amen. Let's please join together in a special prayer this morning for Sophia Jamorlin. Sophia was rushed to the hospital last night, and uh, we offer a prayer to our Blessed Mother that she have a speedy recovery, go back home, and come back to school. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. If God is for us, who can be against us? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you, everyone. You can be seated. Don't forget, we have school mass today. You should have your ties and dress uniforms on. Let's, let's make sure we look sharp for mass today. Thank you. Boys and Girls, Catholic Schools Week continues today, but Catholic Schools Week is starting to wind down. Today we celebrate International Cultural Day, and this is always our most popular day at Most Holy Trinity, as we look at different countries, study them, and present them to our parents and to our friends and family and whoever comes in to see us. Well, we won't be doing this in person this year, we will be doing this virtually, but I have seen many of the presentations and I am very impressed with the work you have done. We'll be presenting 10 different countries and here's the flag for five countries right now, boys and girls. I know some of you know who these flags belong to because you are working on these countries, but let's see how many of you know. I want you to take a moment, look at these flags, see how many of these flags you know. Now, if you really don't know any of them or just one or two, let me give you a hint. The five flags we just showed you are these five countries, Bahamas, Brazil, China, France, and Italy. But these aren't necessarily in order. So I'm going to show you these flags again. I want you to... So take a look at these flags. See if you can figure out which one is which. And while you're looking at those, I'm very proud and happy to announce our four winners from middle school for our um, essay contest if we give a child a Catholic education, as well as our winner from fourth grade. They've already picked their winner. The students voted on their winner in fourth grade, and our fourth grade winner was Fanny Lopez. Congratulations, Fanny. Now in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, we had some outside judges. Go ahead and look at the writing. We did have 14 entrants. The judges were very impressed with all the writing. And it was a very difficult decision, but they did select the following four people as the top four. Fourth place was Nadia Sines in eighth grade. Congratulations, Nadia. Third place was Valeska Weaver, also in eighth grade. Congratulations, Valeska. Second place goes to Hope Valentino in seventh grade. Congratulations, Hope. And our winner was... And Salazar, also in seventh grade. Congratulations, Brandon. Great job. And congratulations to all of you who entered the contest. All of you represented Most Holy Trinity very well. Don't forget Sunday, Mass with Bishop Seitz at 11 a.m. on the CW. This, was, this will be the concluding Mass for Catholic School.
Schools Week. Bishop gave a very nice talk last week, uh, and he actually spoke with Jesus for a little while during his homily. I don't know what he's got planned this week, but I encourage you to turn in at 11 a.m. on Sunday on the CW and see what Bishop has to say to us. Okay, so which flag is which? Well, the Bahamas, let's start, let's go alphabetically. The Bahamas is in the bottom left corner. It is the blue, yellow, and black. Okay, so that was the Bahamas. And next is Brazil. Brazil is right across from it on the bottom right. It is the green, yellow, and the blue circle with the ribbon around that. Okay, in the top left corner is China. Okay, if you guessed China in the top left corner, you were correct. Top right corner is France, the red, white, and blue. And in the middle, you have Italy with the green, white, and red. So if you got all those, great job. If you only got some of them, that's okay. We are studying other countries beside these. We have Japan, which is represented in the top left. Poland, represented in the top right. Zimbabwe in the middle of the slide, okay, with that very colorful flag, and Pre-K is going to be doing Zimbabwe. Portugal will be doing the bottom, is the bottom left flag, and Spain is the bottom right. We have all those 10 countries that were going to be uh, presented today, boys and girls. We're going to email those links to your parents this afternoon. I encourage you to sit down and look at those with your parents. Do not just look at your own classes. Yes, go ahead and look at the work you did, but also have your parents visit some other classes and see what some of your other students in our school did. There were some very impressive presentations. I hope you get to see them all, and I hope you can see what good students and what hard work we've put in here at Most Holy Trinity. This concludes our announcements for today. Now it is Super Bowl weekend, so I hope you're going to stay home and watch the game. But if you are going to go out and congregate, make sure you wear a mask, make sure you socially distance, make sure you wash your hands frequently. Let's practice good, safe habits, and let's take care of ourselves and be a good example to those around us. Everyone, be safe and blessed weekend.